What is going on everybody, my name is Nasa and welcome to a trading tip video because today I'm gonna be uh, talking about bidding wars but before we, get, before we get into the video though boys it will be very much appreciated if you guys could leave a like on this video 500 likes would be absolutely awesome and obviously you will be entered into the 50,000 coin giveaway on either the Xbox or the Playstation as always all you gotta do is drop a like on the video and leave a random comment in the comment section down below because I have to uh, pick a winner in the comment section I'm not gonna be doing any questions today just a random comment in the comment section and drop a like and uh, yeah let's get into the video so today we are gonna be talking about bidding wars bidding wars is something completely different than uh, mass bidding because it completely contradicts it with bidding wars you're trying to win a bid uh, on one player and with uh, mass bidding you are basically mass bidding on those of players and trying to win those but uh, yeah let's just get right into it because uh, I have a couple of tips for you how to uh, win more bidding wars and uh, the first rule or the first tip is uh, when to go and go out and trade and do bidding wars because uh, well let's be honest is it easier to win bidding wars when loads of players are, are, are online or when less players are online obviously when less players are online and that is uh, during the late night or the early mornings uh, and pretty much that is when I trade as well because I really don't have time during the day I'm, I'm going to uh, university and you guys will know that already but uh, yeah the first tip is the time of the day the early mornings or the late nights are the best times to uh, to basically trade and uh, bid on players. Then we have the popularity of the players and this completely contradicts the mass bidding. Because with mass bidding I always told you to trade with popular players and that is simply because I want my players to sell quickly. With bidding wars you just win one player and it doesn't matter if he sells quickly or not. So you can go with the less popular players but the expensive ones like uh, the informed silvers or the silvers or the bronze players or the informed bronze players they're, they're a bit less popular but they do sell eventually and you will win more bits on those because less people are looking at them uh, compared to a uh, let's say a Balotelli or a uh, Aguero and then we have another technique and uh, this technique um, has actually been changing since FIFA 14 I think because when you bid it on FIFA 14 uh, on the last second it would reset the timer to 15 seconds now it resets the timer to 29 seconds, so I'm gonna be calling this technique the 29 second uh, bid, basically. Uh, what you do, um, you bid on the moment the, the timer hits 29 seconds. Um, let's say someone has bid on a player 10 minutes ago, okay? He goes out and, um, well, he, he, he doesn't go out, he just goes and do something else. And whenever you bid on the last 29 second uh, he might just forget that he bid on that player and uh, you might be winning that well the chances of you winning that player will be much higher than them before because he basically just forgets about the player and the player expires at the exact time when the timer sets on zero and the timer will not be reset and that is uh, your chances increase to uh, to basically win a player then I have another an another tip for you which is um, if you go into a bidding war never b bid before the final minute because it's it's better to have your coins on you and to bid than uh, basically waste your coins on a bid and you have to wait more than a couple of minutes and there's not a great deal on the market and you cannot buy it because you don't have enough coins so that is my tip never bid on players before one minute when you go into a bidding war with mass bidding it's okay with, with, with but if you just go into bidding wars don't bid before one minute Another tip ladies and gentlemen is uh, to basically place a high bid already like let's say you have uh, an, an Uzi who is 25k I would go out and uh, bid at least 19k on him if if he has a 10k star price don't bid 10k on him because you're definitely definitely gonna get out bid bid at least like 19k 20k on him so the chances of you getting out bid are lower because people are gonna look to make let's say like the people who, who are going to look to make uh, at least 10k profit are not gonna find that Mesut Ezio anymore and that increases your chances of winning the player because less people will be looking at that Mesut Ezio and uh, your chances will be increasing to win that Mesut Ezio basically um <laughs> last well not the last technique but this is a technique that uh, that uh, I have been using a lot and it is pretty much to annoy uh, your your uh, the guy who who you are bidding against basically what I do if someone is in a bidding war with me and I definitely want a player I basically wait to the last second and then I uh, I will outbid him every time so let's say he bids 200 coins I wait to the final second and I, and I bid 250 then he bids 300 I wait to the final second again and I bid 350 and so on and so on until he gives up 
or until the price goes too high and I'm like, okay, you can take that player. I'm not gonna take that uh, that of you because the profit is not good enough, but I'm just bidding on the last second to just annoy him. He has to wait every time 30 seconds and that will increase my chances of winning that player because he might get annoyed and he might leave the player and he'll be like, okay, you know what, take it, Nas, it's yours. But this can also happen here the other way around. Basically, he can outbid you every time uh, in the last second and that annoyed me. So basically what I do then to uh, contradict that is I start, well, I simulate a bidding war. I basically bid, overbid myself, or overbid myself every two seconds, every time, like for five times. So I basically go one or two bits higher every two seconds to simulate a bidding war, to basically let him think that other people are bidding on this card as well. And because of that, he might think, you know what, there are so many people bidding on this card, I'm not gonna be wasting my time on this, I'm just gonna leave the card and that might might let him off and uh, give you the card and give you the profit and give you the swag and give you the coins pretty much, but yeah. Basically, those are my tips for bidding wars, ladies and gentlemen, this is how I increase my own chances of, uh, of bidding on players and winning the players actually. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, if you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. 500 likes would be awesome. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, boys. And I'll talk to you boys all tomorrow. Peace out.